Hey Felfop, yeah, uh, you made a, a response video to me, and I'm like, dude, stop strawmanning my position. Why don't you actually listen to what I'm saying, instead of just listening to what you want to hear out of what I'm saying. I've stated over and over again that I do not condone the violence, I don't support the violence. Okay, but because I say that I understand why it's happening, to you, that means I'm condoning it. I don't know. In my opinion, it takes a certain kind of regard to not be able to see the difference between condoning and understanding. Okay? I understand the position of the KKK. I understand the position of the extreme feminists. I understand a lot of positions. Positions that, that clash with mine a lot. I understand them. Doesn't mean I condone them. Doesn't mean I support them. And I do speak against them. But I guess speaking against them isn't good enough. Felfop. The people who commit these acts of violence should go to jail. Okay, let me, you know, let's just state that right from the start. Those people should go to jail. Okay, violence is not an acceptable answer to this stuff. When I say that we need to get into some of these people's minds, it's so we can prevent more violence in the future. These people who have already been violent, if they're not put in jail, are probably going to do this stuff again. And there are a lot of people out there who have not yet committed any acts of violence who may commit acts of violence if they continue with their mindset. A lot of people have fears and worries that are mostly unsubstantiated to be something that they get violent about. Okay, people feel very threatened by this stuff. I feel very threatened by this stuff, a lot of this stuff that's going on. I feel very threatened by it. But I'm not going to turn to violence as the answer. I'm not going to get all violent about it. There are times where I could say to myself, damn it, I want to, I'd, I'd like to just punch this person, but I don't. I don't go out and do that. A lot of us think things but don't go through with them. And that that's fine as long as we don't go through with them. Some of these people are actually going through with it. Okay, that's not acceptable. However, we need to alleviate some of these people's fears, some of these people's worries with facts. I'm not saying that the country should be held hostage by these people or that we should create laws based on these people's fears. I never claimed that. I would never claim that. I'm saying we need to give people facts. We need to show people where their fears are unsubstantiated. Even if we remove just a tiny sliver of their fear, that means it's that much less of a chance that they're going to go out and be violent. But apparently, you know, trying to prevent violence is bad. We should just let them stew in, in, this, in this mindset and then just throw them all in jail when they become violent. That's sick, dude. That's, that's disgusting. And if that's not your position, then explain your position. You know, I believe in trying to prevent violence. How can we do it? What do we need to tell people that can alleviate some of these fears? If the only sources for information that can alleviate these people's fears is from Breitbart, Rebel Media, and PJ Media, and other places like that, Houston, we have a problem. And maybe that should get discussed. Maybe that should be a big part of the conversation. And no matter how hard you try, you're not going to get these people. You're not going to get someone like me either to see Breitbart, Rebel Media, and PJ Media as valid. We, we got to find some other sources. I don't know what those sources are. You could be right that maybe there's not really anything to worry about. And maybe there is something to worry about. If there isn't anything to worry about, Let's get the facts.